So as all of you are very aware, this is the last episode of Love It or Leave It during the Donald Trump administration. Uh, if this were the improv, the crowd would cheer loudly. I'd make a joke about, yeah, it's terrible. We get it. It's been a long <laughs> four years, and so much has happened that it is quite literally impossible to remember it all. But if anyone can do it, it's our next two guests. Please welcome back to the show the star of Netflix's The Chef, John Favreau, and sports <laughs> and fitness editor for the Young Turks, Tommy Vitor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and fitness and fitness thanks for Tom. having it's us a compliment. John. great to have you uh this game is simple i will ask each of you questions and whoever gets the most correct answers will win and if you get the question wrong your opponent gets a chance to steal and i'm very sorry i should have it slipped my mind i should have mentioned this this is an oversight uh when i asked you to be on the show um i forgot to say that every question has to do with something you tweeted over the last four years oh no <laughs> You fucking monster. This is such a good trick. And so let's play a very special edition of First Tweet Gets the Fave. Question one goes to Tommy. On May 26, 2017, you tweeted, Sweet, stupid little Jared, you could have had a fun little life losing money on Manhattan real estate projects. Now you're in deep shit. (laughs) What were you referencing? Is it A, Jared Kushner had just accepted a White House job running the Office of American Innovation? Is it B, the Russian ambassador told Moscow that Jared Kushner wanted a secret communications channel with the Kremlin? Is it C, a former editor of the New York Observer wrote a Washington Post op-ed about how much Jared Kushner sucks at his job? Or is it D, Jared Kushner had just fallen into an open manhole plopping right into a river of piss and shit? Uh, I think it was B. Tommy, you got it. It was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how right I was. And how long ago that was. My like we don't even What happened to that secret back channel? Anybody ever get what? to the bottom of it? No. I was gonna no. say, I still think that was a bad part of that whole scandal and we never knew what happened. Never heard about it. Question two goes to you, John. In April 2012, Michael Cohen's house was raided by federal law enforcement officials. Which of the following was not a tweet you decided to use to add to the public discourse around that event? Is there's it, multiple, I, I, there was multiple <laughs> tweets I sent about this? Is it A, bad, very bad? Is it B, well, fuck, get ready, everyone? <laughs> is it C, I bet the president will take this well? Or is it D, this is fucking bonkers? <laughs> oh, uh, which I think it's A, bad, very bad. No, you, you, you tweeted that. No, the one you didn't tweet uh, was, I bet the president will take this well. The rest were, uh, the rest were your contribution. <laughs> Next question goes to Tommy. On December 29th, 2017, you tweeted an image with the caption, can we please stop arguing for a minute and come together to laugh about this again? What did the embedded image show? Is it A, the photo of Sebastian Gorka wearing a strange suede waistcoat, holding a rifle and looking very serious? B, the photo of President Trump screaming while pretending to drive a big truck? C, the photo of Don Jr. in outdoorsman clothes looking off into the middle distance like a real American man? (laughs) Or D, a screenshot of Trump's infamous Kofefe tweet? A. It is. It's A. You got it. It is A. It How do I know? I know cut. Tommy's better than I know mine. This is- <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Well, mine were, that's interesting. Mine were fire, John. So something to talk. Something to think about. Something to think about. <laughs> Question four, John. On March twenty third, twenty nineteen, you tweeted. Anyway, I'm not gonna make it to twenty twenty. Why? Was it A? It was the day before the Mueller report would be released. Is it B? It was the day Devin Nunes sued Twitter for $250 million because of mean tweets. Is it C? It was the day before the Barr letter would be released. Or is it D? The day Ashley Feinberg found James Comey's poetry Twitter account. Hmm. I think it was C? It was. It was C. It was right before the bar letter was released. Bonus question, John. This goes to you. This was the headline after the bar letter was released in the New York Times. Who wrote it? The headline, a cloud over Trump's presidency is lifted. No. Who who wrote the story? Who wrote the story? Who wrote the story? Who wrote the story? Oh, come on. Peter Baker. (laughs) He got it. He got it. That, that, that was, was really easy. the headline? It was the news analysis headline, yes. a cloud over I, Trump's presidency if is you lifted. Look, <sighs> if you look through my tweets, I probably have so many tweets that reference a cloud being lifted just because of that story. <laughs> well, now the, I and feel so like does I, ben get, I know you better now. This, is, this <laughs> has been healing. 
This is a great game. On, well done. It is it. pretty yeah. fun. It is pretty fun. On March 20th, 2018, Tommy, you tweeted at a politician, stop begging, pass a law. To whom did you tweet that and why? Is it A, Susan Collins after she failed to support common sense gun legislation? B, Jeff Flake after he begged the president to not fire the special counsel? C, Adam Schiff after he begged for Trump's Deutsche Bank Russia connections to be declassified? Or D, Brian Schatz after he begged people to stop quote tweeting and just adding the word this? <laughs> uh, I wish it was D, but I think it was B. It was. It was Jeff Flake who was begging the president to not fire the special counsel. Question six to John. In 2018, I tweeted at you, Jonathan, don't do this here. <laughs> Why? Was it A, you had just tweeted that I had admitted during soundcheck that I found Josh Hawley attractive? <laughs> B, you had just tweeted that you wish Ruth Bader Ginsburg had retired in 2013? You said is that a lot. C is it C, you had just tweeted that you hadn't seen all the Star Wars films, or is it D, you had just tweeted that we were spending too much time focusing on impeachment, which was unrealistic? C. It was C. It was about the Star Wars films. You know, Both Lovett are... always talked about Ginsburg not retiring. I never did that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. What, it was clearly not. You what were right. Doing? You were right. What? <laughs> Just saying, I don't know. Rest Look, in nothing peace. against you RBG. Right. <laughs> uh, rest, in, re, rest in peace, as I always, I mean, let's cut this. Yeah, rest in power. <laughs> rest, in, rest in power. All right, you're both tied. You're both doing really great in this game. Uh, lightning round. I will read a tweet, and you both have to tell me who wrote it. At Marco Rubio, you know damn well he's not an excellent choice, you pathetic suck-up. <laughs> uh, Tommy. Yes, it was about John Bolton being named to NSA. Uh, next tweet. Now, do we, do, we, uh, do we just jump in when we know? or Just you, jump in. If you know oh, it, just shout in. it out. Just shout it out. Next tweet. Ha, 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 assholes. Me. <laughs> nope. That was Me. Tommy after he, after it was oh. Tommy. He got it. He got it. After he tweeted a clip where someone fell over trying to take a selfie on the Laura Ingram show. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> next tweet. Good for Elon. This is the right move. Every other CEO should follow suit and then speak out loudly against this lunacy. Me. Oh, God. I hope that was Tommy. No, it was John in response oh, to Woke Bay God. Elon Musk threatening to leave the White House Advisory Council if Trump pulled out of the Paris uh, Accords. That's after, that's after he blocked me for, uh, for attacking him. <laughs> Remember when that was a thing? All those CEOs were on those stupid I boards. criticized him. He blocked yeah. me. He unblocked me. I said, good job for leaving. That's good. That's good. Uh, next, next tweet. Lindsey Graham is asking great questions. Tom. Tom. It was actually me. <laughs> <laughs> that was about Lindsey Graham's questioning of Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Oh, well, you know I, I call him as good. I see him, I know. you know, oh, that's, Enemy fair. that's fair. You're a straight shooter. You're a straight shooter. Uh, next tweet. Haven't seen this many takes on a document. No one read since Infinite Jess came out. Tommy. That's Tommy. It's very Tommy. Uh, that was after the Mueller report dropped. And finally, yeah. I screamed through the entire video. John. Screamed? It is John. You screamed through oh, the entire video. It was about brutal. it was about Republicans getting worked up. Over that time, Obama wore a tan suit. Look at John. I, I'm such a millennial. I, oh my God, I'm screaming. Oh, so so lame. he's so screaming right now. I'm screaming. Right. We cannot. <laughs> and it's help about the tan. tan. It's about the tan, tan suit. What an suit. original. What an original. <laughs> what an original controversy. Uh, butter emails, John. <laughs> <laughs> John's still with her. Tommy, I'm gonna say <laughs> you both won the game. You both won the game. It's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie. Uh, that's it. That is the what last game. game. Of God, the last I want to play that episode. all the time. That was very fun. That was that, very that fun. That gave me flashbacks of like getting a call from you at like six forty-five and running down to the improv and doing some last-minute segment about the Jared Kushner news about the back channel. Man, yeah, yeah. those are the days. A lot of a lot of uh, breaking news in the uh, in the New York Times about the Mueller probe that didn't really amount to much. No, no, <laughs> no, it didn't. What did anyway. you know? But we got him. We got him. We got but him we twice. got him. We, we got, got him. him. We got him twice. Three times if you include Mitch. the election. Yeah. We got Mitch. We got Paul Ryan. This is the last game of the last episode of Love It or Leave It of the Trump era. Thank you both for being part of it. Can you believe wow. that? I'm Four honored. years. Good luck, with your good luck with your next venture. It's still going. We're going to keep <laughs> making it. <laughs>